In this video I'm going to code the health bar to decrease when the unit gets attacked. Okay, so I've done okay. this already. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm, I'm going to press the space bar because there's nothing to attack the unit so far. And as I press the space bar, we, um, we can see the health bar is going down. And I've debug logged the, the health in a percentage and then the UVs needed for the updated sprite. So here we go, it's going yellow and then it goes red and then it stops calculating after we've hit um, zero health. Okay, so by the end of this video we would have coded this. So I'm just going to hop into the projects we've been working on. So here I am in the project. The first thing we need to do is is actually put health on our units because they don't have health at the moment. So um, in the unit script, our generic unit script, um, we're going to add two new variables, public float max health. Okay. The default value I'm going to put is 100 for all of our units and another public float, the current health, so I'm just going to call this one health. Okay, This is all we need in our script. Now we have them publicly, we can just simply jump into each of our units and um, go to the unit script, we can change this. So for the demonstration of this video, 100 is a bit too easy for us, I'm going to change this to maybe what 999 just so it's an odd number so we can work out a, a percentage of the health and then apply that to the UVs. Okay, so um, within the health manager I'm going to code all this. So on the GUI method we can hit the space bar and that will attack our female humanoid robot. So void on GUI if the um, input get key up because if we go and get key down and we're hitting the space bar down every single frame is going to register that so I'm going to say get key up then let's go key code space if the space bar is getting hit we're going to create a method called update health bar to unit so I'm going to bring in the um, the unit itself and also how much the health is going to change whether it's go up or down so in this video we're going to make the health go down so the first thing is the unit game object find female humanoid robot just a simple way to get the objects we need and I'm going to make the health go down 10 units okay so so a couple of minutes ago we changed the health to 999 every time the unit gets hit it's going to go down 10 points so 989 etc etc so now we can go ahead and create this method I'm going to do it below the remove health bar so update health bar when unit health affected or changed so public uh, void the unit itself and um, also I'm going to bring in a float called the health difference or health diff in this case so the first thing I'd like to do is get a, get a few values into the function so float max health I'm going to get the maximum health from this unit get component unit max health second one is the current health unit gets component again health. So this new one is going to be called new health, the health after this has been affected. Um, so it's the current health plus health difference. So we've passed in a value of minus 10 here so the, 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 diff, the health is going to go down 10 units. So the first thing we need to do is actually apply the new health. So here we can again do the same thing, unit get component unit script health equals our new health so this just applies the value we just worked out and applies it to the unit we only want to update the health bar if our health is above zero or the unit is still alive so we can say if new health is greater than zero we can go ahead and work out our values so let's get the health bar client we're going to need it to update the sprite um, game object health bar. We can actually copy this from here. We just get the health bar clients from our unit, like we did in the previous video. 
I'm going to hop over to this diagram. This is the health bar sprite sheet. There's 10 bars going across and 10 going down and the maximum health is at the top left corner so it goes goes from the top left to the end of the row then it starts on the next row down and it goes right down to zero okay so this is really important um, so to begin with we can say number of sprites across equals 10 okay and again number of sprites down is 10 as well let's make this a float okay I work, we're going to work with floats throughout this whole method so just be easy, easy to store this as a float we will be able to work out the UVs based on the the health so what I'd like to do is um, get the percentage of health we have left so we're going to get a value from 0 to 100 and because we have 100 health bars we can then simply work out the position of the UVs so firstly we need to get 1% of the health float 1% equals the maximum health divided by 100 okay this will become clear by the end of the video so um, the next thing we need is the percentage of health left health percentage equals the new health or the current health applied to the to the unit divided by 1% so let's debug this out so we can get a, a better idea of what's going on health percentage so let's hop over to this. When I press the spacebar, boom. So 10 units are being decreased. And if I keep pressing this, the um, percentage is going down, as you guys can see from the from the debug here. Okay. So um, it goes down to zero. Once you've hit a value below zero, the health will not do anything. And this is where we'd code the unit to die. But we'll leave that till later. Okay. So we now have the percentage of health we're currently at we can now work out the uh, the UVs so the first UV I want to work out is the UV X so when when actually creating a sprite we're going to pass these UVs into this this method here into the add sprite method so we can start off by saying math seal rounds up to the nearest integer we're going to get the health percentage we're going to get the modulus uh, a number of sprites across so let's explain what this does so we're interested in the X UV it will be a value of 0 when it's in the left and as it goes to the right it goes up to a value of 1 so we need a value between 0 and 1 okay um, so we're getting the percentage and then we're getting the remainder of this the modulus method divides the, um, the these two values and gets the remainder basically so debug log I'm going to debug the health percentage plus the UVX this isn't the final value by the way guys um, so just so we know what's going on hitting the space bar so as you can see we've got a value between 10 and 1 going on here so all we need to do now is divide this value by 10 so UV X divided equals by 10 so we need to do a similar thing for the Y value so UV Y equals math F we're going to floor this one as it needs to be a value between 0 and 0 0.9 um, so we can say health percentage divided by number of sprites down and we also need to say UV Y divided it by 10 so this gets a value between 0 and 1 for each of um, for the X and the Y so let's debug log UVX UVY and um, see what's happening so we've got some things to work with here but um, if we look very closely as the health goes down we're going from 0.9 to, to 0 um, in the X so in other words we're starting at the right hand side and then going down to point 0.1 then we're starting at the right hand side then going down to point 0.1 this is not right because the maximum value starts on the left hand side so we need to go from the left then down then move on to the next row then go to the right and so on and so on but the, the Y value seems to be okay because we're starting at point 0.9 so we're going to start at point 0.9 then move down to point 0.8 then point 0.7 then point 0.6 etc etc as you can see 
row 5, row 4, row 3, 2, 1, then we're dead. So to address the x uv, we just simply need to say uvx equals 1 minus uvx. Okay, so now it's going to get a value from 0 to 0 0.9. So I'm actually going to pass through the health as well. So health percentage colon, then we can go on for the UVs. So I'm pressing spacebar. So we start off with the UVs 0.1 and going up 0.9. This is when the the um, the health is 98%. Okay, so yes, that is correct. It's going across 0 0.1, going up 0 0.9. So we end up with this sprite here. Okay. So all this is doing is working out the UVs as the percentage goes down. It's going to get these sprites and work its way down to zero. Okay. Okay, so once we've done this, we can go ahead and um, remove the current sprite. Then simply apply the new sprite with updated UVs. Okay, and the more important thing as well, when unit is not selected, hide the newly created sprite. Cool, so not much more to do here. So firstly, we need to get the sprite the unit currently has. Sprite current health bar sprite equals our health bar client get component health bar client script my health bar sprite this cast as a sprite so then we can say health bar sprite manager remove the sprites current health bar sprite okay that sorts out that problem so now new sprites won't be overlapping every time we press the spacebar. Apply the new sprites with the updated UVs. So very simple to do. I'm going to copy a um, add sprites method already which we've done up here just to save some time. Paste it in here and where we've put the UVs in the new vector 2 I'm going to replace this with UVX UVY and then apply this sprite to this value here, my health bar sprite. So let's go to this value and simply assign it, this health bar, to this value. Okay, so the last thing to do, if the unit is not selected, we don't want to show this newly created sprite. So component unit script selected equals false we can use a health bar sprite manager method hide sprite then again we're going to get this get the sprite and hide it cool so that's that's all we need to do here all we've done here is um we've worked out the percentage of the unit's health and because we have 100 sprites and it's got 10 um 10 rows and 10 columns we can then apply a simple equation to work out the uv's Okay, so this works out between 0 and 100. We divide it by 10 to get the UVs. And of course, with the X value, we don't go from right to left. We go from left to right. So we just take the value away from 1 to reverse it. Okay, guys, let's test this out now. So play the game. So let's test, okay. get the unit. Let's zoom in. And I'm pressing the space bar and the, the health is going down. Okay. So it gets to a um, yellow color. Doesn't look too good on the sand. Could improve that in the future. Going down, boom, to zero. Okay, so that covers that. Um, now we can go ahead and code what happens when the unit dies. We could play an animation to fall to the ground, then they disappear or something. We'll focus on that in a later video. So please send me a message or a comment if you get stuck on this bit of code, but. Um, once you grasp the concept of uh, the units of the UVs and stuff, it's quite simple to understand. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.